Hi everybody, One Page Rules just dropped the 3.3 update of the basic and advanced rules. It's another update and we have had a few of them recently. This time though, there are at least two rules that significantly changes the basic rules as well as the advanced rules. I'm going through the two rule changes and how they affect the game in this video. I'm going to do my best to cover the base games as well as the skirmish games, both Grimdark Future and Age of Fantasy. Besides the two rule changes, there are a few tweaks and corrections in the descriptions, and then the rule books themselves have changed their look. So now they look different and better. I depend on the taste, but the goal was to make the rule books look slightly better and maybe even sell them as physical rule books in the future. But one major question that is being asked in the community right now is, do we really need those rule changes so often? And do we really need more advanced rules? Shouldn't we just stick to the basic one-page rules that most of us love and chose to play in the first place? I think I sense a concern that this might lead us down a road where the rules will change significantly too often and we'll have to adapt to new advanced mechanics instead of just sticking with what already works. But on the other hand, of course, if something needs improvement, why shouldn't it be done? It's a very delicate balance, I guess. But let's take a look at the first major rule change, one that we might have seen coming for some time, and that is the effect and consequences of wounds and morale checks. Basically, this rule change affects how difficult units are to take out of the battle, and now they are just harder to get rid of. Earlier, a charged unit, like in this example, that would be hit and fail defense rolls would take one wound and then it would roll on the wound chart. And we are talking the skirmish game modes now. And there could be two outcomes of that. It could be knocked out or stunned, and a stunned unit couldn't really do anything. Now, a wounded unit is no longer stunned, it's shaken. And shaken units can fight back, and they can keep fighting in the game. So even though this warrior just took a wound, he would be able to fight back and possibly even kill his attacker. Being shaken now gives you a minus one modifier to quality and defense rolls. And quality rolls also affects morale. So a shaken unit does not automatically fail a morale check. It's just harder for them. The only example where units still route immediately is in Age of Fantasy and Grimdark Future, if they lose a melee battle and they are under half strength, they will still, if they fail morale tests, immediately rout. In all other cases, units will be shaken and they will continue to fight. Shaken units can choose to use an activation to not be shaken anymore, but well, here is a tactical consideration do you want to continue with your shaken unit and the negative modifier? One other thing is that they cannot seize objectives when they are shaken. So you have to consider, would you use an activation to stop them being shaken? Or would you just take the chance with the negative modifiers and fight on? So when units in the skirmish games are no longer stunned, they of course cannot be taken out immediately when they are charged or when they are hit with a shooting attack. In the end, the units will be harder to take out and the games will be longer. Of course, that can be adjusted if you bring smaller armies and less units to the battlefield. I'm not really sure how this will affect the games that remains to be seen, but I think it will take adjustment to have wounded units running around the battlefield, still fighting the best they can, even though they have a negative modifier. The other rule change is a completely new rule, and that is the assault attack. Assault now enables a unit within six inches to shoot first and then charge afterwards. And there is already a lot of debate about this rule. Should it have been an advanced rule? 
Well, it's not. It's a part of the basic rules as it is now. Let's take an example of how assault could work. Here we have an assault prime brother. He has one shot and he has two close combat attacks. He faces a unit of three infantrymen. So normally he would have to choose to shoot with one shot or charge with two close combat attacks. He wouldn't be able to eliminate the entire squad. But now, if he is within six inches, he could choose to assault. He would have a negative one modifier to both shooting and charges. But let's say he hit with the shot. And if he hits with both close combat attacks, he could potentially take out the entire infantry squad. And the negative modifier to both shots and charge attacks, as well as the charge distance, will of course favor the high quality units. And if we combine this rule with the earlier rule, the infantryman would be shaken, but he would also be able to fight back, of course. Now, with very few extra points, you could make this Assault Prime Brother an Assault killing machine. He could be a chosen veteran, of course, that would negate the negative modifier. He would still have a quality of three. With five points, he could get an energy sword, and with five points more, he could get a flame pistol with reliable and blast. And in that case, he would have very favorable odds of eliminating the entire infantry squad. Of course, it also works the other way around. They could choose to assault the Prime Brother, they would have three shots first, and then they would continue to charge with their close combat weapons. But with a quality of five in the first place, they would really have a hard time hitting the Prime Brother. With an assault attack, you shoot first and then you complete the charge, even though the unit you attack is eliminated with the shooting alone. In Age of Fantasy and Grimdark Future, morale tests from melee fights will be resolved at the end of the activation. So even though a unit is shot down to half strength in the middle of an assault attack, they will test their morale at the end of the charge. Again, this assault rule will most likely be more time consuming in your battles. You have to decide if you want to assault and resolve two types of attack in one activation. Another thing that will be more time consuming is that you have to find out which units have activated, which units are wounded, shaken, not shaken, wounded and shaken, wounded, not shaken, and so forth. You'll need more tokens and there will be more modifiers to keep your eye on. Personally, I'm not sure what to think of these recent rule changes. Maybe they'll just fit into the rules and they will make the battles just as fun or maybe even more fun than before. But I think there have been many rule changes and tweaks and adjustments in the last half year or so compared to when I started playing this game. Of course, if there is a rule that really needs adjustment or tweaking, Shouldn't it be done? Well, I guess so. But on the other hand, I would really like the rules to rest for a while now. So let us test them out, see how it works. And, well, not so many rule changes for just a while now. I don't know if I'm concerned myself, but I sense in the community a concern that the basic rules will become advanced and the advanced rules will become, well, even more advanced or complex, and I don't think that is where the majority of one-page rules players really want to go. And I know, of course, you can house rule and you can ignore advanced rules and you can just ignore any rules you don't really like. Personally, I'm fine with the advanced rules. I can just decide not to use them, and if you watch my battle reports, you will know that they are most of the way just the basic rules. I might use an overwatch from time to time, but most of the time it's just basic. And why? Because it, to me at least, works fine. When I started playing one page rules, the nature of the battles were just really hard and unforgiving. The units were taken out, fast games, a very brutal and fast approach, and that was one of the very fun aspects of the game, I think. 
Even though the new rules could work just fine, they will still slow down the game significantly. I will try my best to keep up with the rule changes. I think it needed a video this time, not just a short about some rule tweak or adjustment. And I will take the new rules into my future battle reports. Thanks very much for watching. I hope you'll join me for future videos and bad reps.